Hi everyone, this is Anna from VP State Team and today I will show you what is new in VP Residence 3.7. This update focuses on extending VP Residence options for Elementor Page Builder. For that purpose, we added 23 new team widgets that now you can use when creating beautiful pages with VP Residence and Elementor Builder. The main purpose is to add more flexibility and options for your real estate website. We start with our first new widget, an extremely flexible contact form builder that you can create with your chosen fields. The form is listed under the President's widgets, you drag and drop to your chosen place in the page and then you start building the form. In the form you can choose as fields first or last name, email, phone number, message and so on. You can choose your text label for each and you can select if the field is mandatory or not. The field width can be managed from a separate drop down, allowing you to add multiple fields in one row as well. You control also the input size from this area. And you can enable the GDPR section with links to the GDPR page you manage from pages. This new widget allows you to manage everything, from button width and position to the message you show on the button. You select to which email addresses the messages go and what should the subject text be when you get the message. You also control the full form colors, border, radius, font size. And I must mention that this form syncs the messages you receive into the team built-in CRM and into HubSpot CRM. We continue with a beautiful grid builder for your properties categories. This includes property states, cities, areas and types. We have various design options for this new element and now I'll show you quickly how it works. First you choose which of the six grid layouts you wish to apply. Each has a different design. You can switch between two design types and you can manage the font size and colors for each design. The next step is to select if you wish the grid for categories, types, states, cities and areas. And for each selection you can display your chosen categories. Now if you wish to show only categories with zero listings you can do that and you also control in which order to display them. For design options you can change the height of the image, border radius, the gap between the categories, rows and columns. You can also edit the category text and listings number, position, their colors and font size. We introduce seven new widgets to create properties list just like this one. Each widget has a different design for the property unit. This widget includes a lot more listings button to see all the selected properties. The first element to manage is the categories you wish to show as tabs filter. Then you control the number of properties. You can set the design to grid or vertical mode and you choose in which order to show the properties. You have the filters to show only specific properties in any combination you wish and you can show only featured properties as well. In the show hide field section of each property card you control the display of each element. Moving on to styling, you have font size and colors management options. You also control the spaces between elements, the load more and filter buttons colors, standard and hover too. In summary, you have full control over the content and design. We added seven new widgets to create lists with filters just like this one. Each version offers a different design for the property unit card. The purpose of this widget is to easily search for properties by their categories. Now, when you edit a page with Elementor, you will see the widget listed under the Residence widgets folder. In the content settings, you control which properties to show, how many and in which order. And same as with the previous widget, you also have the on-off display control for each element and also the style section to manage the font size and colors. The VP Residence property slider now has seven new design variations to choose from. And same as with the other widgets, you get full control over each design. For the slider, you control the arrows position, which can be on top or right or left. You also manage the auto scroll timer. 
you control the order of the listings and same as with the first two widgets, you choose which properties to show and what details to show for each property card. You also have the style settings to manage colors and font size. This wraps our video for today. We hope you will like the new team update and stay tuned for the next one. And remember to subscribe to VP Residence YouTube channel to get informed instantly when new videos are added. Thank you for watching.